Hey everyone, this is for the sign of Aries for January of 2021. So you guys voted on which signs we're going to get the readings this month. So I'm going to do Aries and also Gemini because you guys are pretty darn close. All right, so if you haven't been in my channel before, I want to say welcome. My name is Danielle Ingenito and I am uh, the expert in healing after toxic relationships. I use the power of energy healing and spirituality to help you heal uh, your childhood so that you can start attracting better relationships into your life. So in this video, you're actually going to get the message from spirit, but you're also going to get the energy healing to go along with it. So you want to stay tuned and I do pull some more cards throughout that. All right, so let's see what's going on. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And I do want to announce I have a new course coming out. It is 21 days to accelerating your confidence. We just did a confidence challenge in Facebook and it was absolutely amazing. And I figured let's keep it going. So if you want to spend 21 days with me starting February 1st, learning all about how to heal and how to get your confidence up, um, you can see that and you can click the link in the description and in the comments below. So let's see what's going on here. Love the overall energy for you guys. The overall energy is connection. It is new partnerships. It's new people coming into your life here with the Two of Cups. This is something new. It's immature. So it's not that, um, you know, long-term relationship type of thing. But it's just new energies is what I'm feeling coming in. So keep your eyes out and open yourself up to letting new people into your life. Just make sure they're not toxic, okay? So keep your eyes out for red flags. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, we've got the World, and we have the Four of Swords. And I feel like for you, it's time to take a break here. I feel as though you've been doing a lot on your own, and you're trying to get that life that you dream of, and yet it's time to take a rest. I'm like, I gotta take a breath myself here. So it's really like, let go, let the universe help you, is what I'm getting. Realize that the universe is guiding you in a way and that you don't have to do it all on your own. You can let go and be free. Okay, we've got the chariot, we've got the star, and we've got the sun. So you're moving forward. So this is showing me that in the month of January here, you really might be listening to your intuition more or trying to open that up. You're trying to connect that. The, the sun is the healing card. The star to me is really about your intuition, the light here, and the chariot is about moving towards it. So this might be the month that you are having a spiritual awakening. You're seeing things completely different. You might have been in my challenge where totally mind blown stuff in there where we shifted our mindset and we just are asking so many questions now. So you're moving forward into connecting to more of your spiritual self, your spiritual being here. And it will, it does take healing, okay, it does. It takes time, it takes healing and it takes time to let go of the stuff that's weighing you down. And in that challenge, we talked about like, um, you know, like a, a weight is just, it's like an anchor. It's just holding you back from what you wanna do and you have to release the anchor. So we're gonna be doing energy healing and that's probably gonna be the intention that we go into it with today because you have to let go of the anchor that's weighing you down because you're trying to lift up, you're trying to reach, but when you have this heavy, heavy anchor on you, it's gonna make it so much harder to get there and you're gonna be exhausted and burnt out like when you actually do. So it's time to let go of the anchor and trust in yourself, connect to that spiritual being so that you can go after the life that you want like you already are, however, it's gonna be much easier to get there. You also have here in the last part of the month, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, we've got the Five of Wands, and we've got the Lover's card. So things are turning here. Things are in the works. You don't seem to see it. And again, this is not trusting the universe. This is, this is resistance as to they want you to go this way. And you're like, no, I think I'll go this way. It looks a little better over here. But the problem is, is the way that you think to go, it's going to cause more obstacles and it's going to take you longer to get where you need to go. But there's a lack of trust here. Like I said, with the, with the universal energies, with your spirit guides, with God, like whoever it is for you, doesn't matter, but there's a lack of trust and you feel like, no, I have to do it all on my own. And just realize that that comes from a place of being hurt a lot of times in your life. 
So you come with an energy of, nope, I just, I'll do it on my own. And it comes from an, like, it's a, it's a resentful anger energy because you're tired of people letting you down. So you feel as though you have to do it all on your own. And the universe very strongly right now is asking you to let that go and open up to receiving the help that the universe is trying to get, give you. Okay. And universe interchangeable for God, uh, divine energy, whatever you want to call the higher source, they're trying to help you, but I feel as though you're not letting them in because you got the lover's card. And to me, the lover's card is really about that connection with your inner self, the connection um, with your that spiritual being, really connecting uh, to who you truly are, not who you think you are and what you have to do. Okay, so if this resonates, that confidence course, uh, Accelerate Confidence, is going to be absolutely amazing for you because you're going to understand yourself much, much better and you're going to let go of feeling the need to do everything on your own. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and pull two cards from here and then we'll go into some energy healing. Yeah, you've got the chariot again and you've got the moon card. So you're moving forward and the moon again is yearning desire. So you're trying to move forward. It says inspired warrior. You're trying to move forward to something. You might not quite know what that is right now, or you might think you know what it is, but it's not specifically what you think, I want to say. If they're saying to me very strongly, like, you have to use your intuition more. Let go. Your ego is trying to get, it's too involved here, okay? It's too involved. And like, even this reading for me, I'm like, ooh, like, I don't even know what's happening in this reading for me right now where I, I kind of feel like I'm on the outside of the reading. And that's how I feel for you here. It's like you're on the outside of what's really supposed to be happening. So really kind of dig down, take a break, take a break, stop thinking, stop doing, like literally just go and enjoy yourself because I feel as though a lot of answers are going to come for you when you are just enjoying yourself and not thinking. Sometimes we get so stuck in the thought process that we sabotage ourselves because then it's like, we don't know what's real. We don't know what's our ego, what's our intuition. And it's just all a mess. So when that happens, you really have to kind of let that go and just do something completely different for a little while and see what comes to you. Because usually your intuition isn't going to come to you when you're trying to get it. It's going to come to you in little subtle thoughts and maybe even songs or lyrics, or you see a sign or, or you read a book and you see a certain passage or you pull a tarot card, like whatever it is, usually doesn't come to you when you're actually like fiending for it, if that makes sense. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into a little bit of energy healing here. So all you're going to do is really just close your eyes and listen to some music. And I am going to connect the universal energy with your energy in order to release any blockages or trapped emotions. And I will pull some more cards throughout that. So you want to stay tuned for that. All right. So go ahead and take a deep breath in and we're going in here with the intention of letting go of the anchor so go ahead and let that breath out and one more time take a deep breath in and let it out okay whatever thoughts come in just let them come in and let them go out here we go
Go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. And take another deep breath in, give your body a nice little stretch and go ahead and let it out. Okay, you can open your eyes. So the cards that came up for you here, I hope you enjoyed the energy healing. Please give me a thumbs up on the video if you did, so I know that you guys are liking this. We've got the three of wands here, and this says dreams of change. So you are dreaming of changing something. You are going after what you want. Um, and again, the, the, the real message is you don't have to do it all on your own. So open up to receiving, receiving help from others, asking for help for others, um, opening up also to receiving the help from the universe. Not everyone has done you wrong like people have in the past. And that's your other card here, which says judgment, putting the past to rest. So let go of the past. That does not have to be your future. So whatever happened to you in the past does not have to continue happening to you in the future. You don't have to build those walls. You can take those walls down, put boundaries in place, heal yourself. That's what we're going to be doing in our 21 days, okay? So, and also caring for yourself here with the Eight of Swords. So how are you caring for yourself? You're doing, doing, doing a lot of stuff and you're thinking. That I just feel like the mind is racing. The mind is racing all of the time. How can you take more care of yourself? And especially maybe around the full moon and the new moon. I know the new moon just passed for January, but maybe the full moon coming. Like you can let go of these things that don't feel good for you and care more for yourself. But that dream that you have is obtainable, but you've got to do it in a different way. You've got to open yourself up and let people in because doing it on your own and doing it like all by yourself is going to make it harder, more exhausting. And it's really not going to give you the result that you're looking for when you get there. So it's really about the inner work, not what's on the outside. So start with the inner and start really working on letting go of what's happened in the past so that you can move forward in a, in a lighter, happier, friendlier, people are all around you type of way. All right. So I hope that resonates with you guys. Um, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you are interested in joining me for 21 days, we are going to be taking action. We're going to be getting uncomfortable. We are going to be healing. We are going to be letting go. We're going to be changing our mindset. Like it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited about it. I've been drawing up like what we're going to be doing in those 21 days. So if you are interested in that, it's all happening in Facebook though. So you have to be on Facebook, um, but you can sign up and join with the link below in the description and in the comments. I want to wish you a happy rest of January. Much love to all of you and I will see you soon. Bye.